Some people think of Kobe as a spreadsheet when it's actually a relational database presented as a spreadsheet. I'm no technical wizard, but I thought it might be useful to explain how I look at it as a layperson. In contacts, we've got the supplier's details with an email address as the key. Moving on to the building, we've got the floors defined and the spaces on each floor, including their room reference and their uniclass definitions. Zone allows spaces to be grouped together so a school can report on the areas used for teaching and circulation. We now drill into the types of products and materials that are included in this facility, the manufacturer, model number and warranty details, and of course the Uniclass code. The component tab records every instance of each asset type including the reference to the space tab and the unique identifier from the 3D model that automatically connects the data to the model. Here we see where all the FA011 smoke detectors are and all the assets in the boiler room. All of those components can be grouped by system. The manufacturer's recommended maintenance regimes is included in the jobs tab, including the individual tasks that can be compared with the generic maintenance libraries like SFG20 to ensure nothing important to the warranty is missed. PDFs of manufacturer's manuals and test certificates are held under documents. The attribute tab holds additional ISC properties that are specific to that type of asset, like fire rating for doors or the attributes of a boiler. And the XYZ coordinates of each space and each item within each space on each floor in each facility is recorded in the Kobe database. But I think everyone would agree that we need something far more human friendly to access and use this great BIM data.